How's it going everyone? Justin here with the Realkeeper Home Team and welcome back to our channel, Everything Jacks Real Estate. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another model home tour in the beautiful Seabrook Village community here in Nocatee. This video is gonna highlight the Hernando floor plan being built currently by Providence Homes. This floor plan is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, two story floor plan, as you can tell as I'm on the stairs, and it has a two car garage. It's also roughly 2250 square feet and the starting price is in the high 500s. A couple things we're gonna highlight in this floor plan are the beautiful kitchen and the fact that it is such an open floor plan on the first floor. Now, before we get into the video, don't forget to like our, this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you get notified when we post more model home tour videos like this. Also, make sure you stay till the end because we're gonna be going with some different builder incentives we're seeing not just here with Providence Homes, but also across the board. So you're definitely not gonna miss what I have to say on that. All right, now let's go and check this floor plan out. All right, so we are now starting our walk through model home tour of the Hernando floor plan by Providence Homes. So as you're gonna see when we first come in, you're welcome to this nice inviting stairwell up to the second floor. And it's very open to the first floor. So it doesn't feel, you know, it doesn't feel too claustrophobic when you first come in. And what you're gonna notice here, Providence Homes, they actually did a really nice uh, wood flooring here for the tread. Definitely does very well against the darker uh, grays they used here, just to kind of give it a little bit of a different feel. So as we continue on through, you have a nice wide hallway to the kitchen and to the living room. You also can see here we have some good storage underneath the stairs. Always nice to have. And as you see, they definitely did went with a nice darker gray which sometimes you would think maybe it's too dark but due to all the white walls and other white trim that gray really is a nice separate highlight for the area but let me know what you think in the comments do you like that gray or would you rather see more of the typical white or maybe even a lighter gray? so a lot of natural light as you're walking through the house as you can probably see in this video with a nice beautiful kitchen that does overlook the dining and the living. So this is a really well used space. Definitely highlights the fact that it is an open floor plan and it's a great entertaining space for friends and family because of how open it is. Now right here you'll see that they use a nice thick piece of quartz. Really gives it a more of a higher end feel with that thicker quartz and the deep sink. And you'll also see here that they did a two-tone with the cabinets. So on the island, they went with more of that, uh, you know, chocolate brown kind of color, uh, but you know, a little bit lighter than that. Whereas they went more with white cabinets for the rest of the kitchen. You also see here that they have the gas stove. Being a Nocatee, you will always have gas. And there's not a lot of backsplash with this kitchen. You know, you have some next to the stove, you have some over here, but definitely a nice design they chose with the subway tile. And there's a little bit of a texture to it too that really highlights it. You have your oven microwave combo. And then in the island, you have your dishwasher. All stainless steel appliances, obviously with it being new construction. Now, as we come over here, this little hallway will take you to your laundry room. So now we are going to head to the living room and check out, again, this open floor plan. So you'll see here, definitely plenty big enough dining room space for, you know, this has only four seats, but definitely could be a six seater, even maybe an eight seater table could fit there without intruding into the living room. You'll see here, the living room is a very well-sized space. They did really good with their furnishings on this. And they even did some accent walls with some trim. It's not the typical lap board kind of left and right you'll see, uh, but it definitely gives almost like a little bit of a coastal feel here. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like it more like this? Or would you much rather have it more you know, left to right? And you also have a half bath on the first floor. They continued the same quartz in here and the same cabinets in here. They also 
chosen a very nice lighter blue wallpaper with a floral design. Which then brings us to the master or the main bedroom. So one other thing I wanted to point out, this house does have those taller doors. These are most definitely the more upgraded doors in here, which gives it a nice feel. And the master, really well sized, nicely appointed. And a couple things they did with this, you know, they did the tray ceiling. They have the nice light fixture up there with the recessed lighting. And as you can tell, they also have the wood up there, which really gives it a really cool feel. Actually still makes the room feel bigger than it may be. And with that lighter color wood, helps keep the room a very light color as well. So from the master bedroom, that's gonna take us to the master bathroom, where you're gonna see a walk-in shower with multiple shower heads, including a rain head. And then you're also gonna see the double vanity. Now this time they continue the more brown cabinets from the kitchen for this bathroom, whereas the half bath had the white. You have your water closet here. Nice to have it kind of separate. Little linen closet to your left. And then at the end, we have our walk-in closet. Really nice what they did here with the custom cabinets in here. Definitely helps add more storage to the space. And it still makes it feel plenty big in here to where you can walk around. So all in all, not a bad kitchen bathroom or kitchen bathroom bedroom combo. Has a really light and bright feel to it. And that tray ceiling with the ship lap, so to speak, is definitely my favorite aspect of this house. So now we will head upstairs before ending on the back patio. All in all though, really, really well designed house as far as separating all the spaces. Even up here, you know, all the guest bedrooms, kids bedrooms are upstairs separate from the master bedroom, which definitely gives you a little more privacy. And what they even did up here is they included a little bit of a loft which could be used for like a game room, could be used for the kids to hang out with their friends. But on all, it is a really good sized space. So next up, we're gonna check out the three bedrooms and the one bathroom. So first things first, we have bedroom number two. Really good size. Really nice finishes that the builder chose for this one. bifold doors for the closets and then it'll take us then to bedroom number two we will end on the bathroom bedroom number two is a little bit smaller but still really good size and with bedroom number two this is most likely a twin bed but still really good size space this one has a little more of a walk-in closet compared to the bifolds in the other bedroom. So all in all, not bad. Whereas one bedroom gives you more size in the room, the other bedroom gives you a little bit more size in the closet. And you have another living closet here. And then it brings us to bedroom number four, the third guest bedroom. Now this one, Providence Homes has it designed to be able to highlight a lot of the key features that they do differently than other builders. So it's not staged like the other bedrooms have been, but still a really good size space. 
most likely similar in size to the second bedroom than the third bedroom. And it is nice that all of the bedrooms are together on the second floor, away from the master. Lastly, we have the bathroom upstairs. They still did a double vanity up here. Did the white cabinets, the quartz countertops. You do have some separation here for the shower. And they each has a really nice subway tile pattern up to the ceiling with kind of like a mixture of a white and blue, but a very light blue. Gives a really good look. Very uh, beachy. Let me know in the comments below. Is that your taste? If it's not, what would you prefer to have seen there for the tile choice? So that will wrap up the inside. Next, we will head to the back porch to look at that summer kitchen. Again, beautiful, they did the wood treads. With this being a model, you do have these sconces here. This is not something that's gonna be typical in their base price, but if you do like those sconces, it's something that most likely they will do as a upgrade to the price for the home. So yeah, all in all, not bad. Plenty of recessed lighting throughout. And the living room will take you out to your back porch, which in this case is screened in. So with this back porch, really good size. You have a table here for the days when it's not too hot to be able to eat outside after you've been grilling and cooking. They did a nice uh, paver for the floor. And then they continued with what appears to be granite countertops out here to go with your Primo grill, as well as your mini fridge trash can and Somerset grill as well. So all in all, definitely a great place to hang out, to entertain. Uh, you know, having it already ready for a fan is huge. You know, get a little bit of airflow back here when it is a little bit warm, but definitely really well designed space. And that will wrap up the model home tour of the Hernando by Providence Homes here in Seabird Village. So what do you guys think about this floor plan? Down below, leave a comment on what you liked or what you didn't like about this floor plan or what you'd like to see different. Also, if you have any questions as far as this floor plan is concerned, this builder, Providence Homes, or even this neighbor, Seabrook Village, down below in the description is my contact information. Uh, it also has my calendar, so feel free to you know, reach out to me or schedule on my calendar to hop on me like a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call to go over any questions you may have as far as this community is concerned or if you have any questions as far as other builders or their communities here in St. John's County. Also, as I mentioned by staying until the end, one thing that we're seeing right now is we're seeing a lot of different builder incentives going on across the board. Each builder is doing something a little bit different, so definitely you're gonna to wanna to reach out to me to find out more about what Providence is doing. Uh, but typically we're seeing different uh, incentives with rate buy downs, closing cost concessions, or even some design center options if you build from the ground up. So without further ado, I'll see you